crypto, the notion that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is quitting, has swept Twitter. John Deaton, an attorney who is in favor of excerpt, the crypto community breathed a sigh of relief when Ripple won a court case against the Securities and Exchange Commission, SECI. Ripple Labs' EO Brad Garlinghouse used the X platform to talk about the company's history and the obstacles it's overcome. Beyond the obvious benefits to Ripple and the XARP coin, this win may serve as a precedent for other digital assets in their own fights with government regulators. After today, this is not just a win for Ripple or Excerpt. Today, the entire crypto industry has won half the battle, Garlinghouse remarked. As a result of Ripple's litigation setting a precedent, other big cryptocurrencies including Cardano, Solana, Polygon, and Ethereum are preparing for their own legal fights. The significance of the court agreeing with Ripple's position that Excerp is not a security cannot be overstated. It establishes a standard at a time of unprecedented change in the Bitcoin market. The case's importance in introducing clear regulatory frameworks vital for the maturity of the crypto business was emphasized by John Deaton, a major voice in the crypto legal community. Ripple Labs is throwing a party on September 29 in New York. This isn't just a party. It's an opportunity to celebrate the people and forward, thinking businesses who have shaped the blockchain industry. It couldn't come at a better time, since traditional financial institutions and investors are only now beginning to see the game, changing potential of blockchain technology. Because of this, Ripple's legal victory has not only revitalized its own digital asset, but has also sparked a sector, wide discussion on the urgent need for consistent regulatory norms. The accompanying revelry is not limited to Ripple or Excerpt, but rather marks a watershed moment for the whole cryptocurrency industry. The move by Ripple to release 1 billion XRP from escrow has become the latest topic of discussion in the cryptocurrency industry. Over the course of 24 hours, the value of XRP dropped by more over 3% due to this event. In a series of reports, popular cryptocurrency transaction, tracking website Whale Alert highlighted these escrow practices. In a coordinated effort, two further transactions, escrow execution 12 and 13, released 500 million XRP into circulation. These deals were for a total of 1 billion XRP, or $204, 2 cents million, USD and $51 million youth. The mysterious memoranda that had fueled market speculation the previous month were noticeably absent from these deals. As of the time of this writing, Ripple has not re-escrowed any of the newly issued tokens, as is customary practice for the company. Last month, a similar release resulted in the restoration of 800 million ARCSRP to escrow. In addition, not included in the latest release are the $10, one cent million worth of XRP that Ripple sent to the Binance exchange immediately after the first escrow operations. These swings in price highlight the complicated connection between liquidity events and token worth especially during market downturns. The crypto community is waiting with bated breath to see how Ripple's recent action may affect the future value of XRP. The continuing legal dispute between the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple Labs continues to take unexpected turns. It's worth noting that the SEC recently launched a lawsuit against Ripple, saying that XRP was sold as securities without being registered. Furthermore, Judge Torres determined that XRP is not a security. As the matter moves closer to trial and the SEC investigates whether Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson aided and abetted Ripple in selling XRP to institutional investors, the SEC filed a request for interlocutory appeal addressing program at and other CRPU addressing tiles. The SEC amended its phrasing in that submission stating that it did not seek a review of the underlying asset excerpt, which it described as nothing but computer code with no inherent value. Even UK officials have said that cryptocurrencies have no fundamental value. However, as crypto watcher and lawyer Bill Morgan points out, the SEC is now attempting to persuade courts that cryptocurrencies are not commodities. He reminds out that Judge Torres saw the Graham token as a commodity, which would irritate the SEC. Morgan believes the SEC is attempting to make its job easier by persuading judges that cryptocurrencies lack intrinsic value under the How I Test. This implies that issuers must discover usefulness to give these cryptocurrency value. These initiatives meet Howie's third prong and investors look to them for value and possible rewards. Cryptocurrencies have no worth or price rise without these efforts. 
Morgan believes that this method is faulty since the value of XRP is derived from its features and cannot be seen in isolation from the XRP. Ledger PI Sir RPL. Some have referred to it as a new rail for the global payment system, while the Australian lawyer compares it to wheel. The importance of wheels, which have revolutionized the globe, lies not in their individuality, but in their combination. The point is, why is the SEC seeking to differentiate between the cryptocurrencies? Another notable attorney in the industry, John E. Deaton, claims that the SEC has totally lost sight of its goal and purpose. While a 2018 document may provide critical information, Deaton says that it does not confirm the SEC's opinion that XRP is a security. This was followed by years of confusion, during which Ripple attempted to get clarification from SEC, but was rebuffed and advised to continue talking to SEC and staff about that. After the letter, Bill Hyman famously asserted that Ethereum and Bitcoin were not securities, but he omitted to include XRP. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said at the time, Ripple is living in purgatory. Many blame excerpts poor price performance on the lawsuit and the sex's continued attempts to pursue enforcement against Ripple and Excerpt. Prior to the litigation, Excerpt was ranked second in the crypto market and was seen as the future of the financial system. Ripple Labs has stated its dissatisfaction with the sex request for an interlocutory appeal in court. Joined by its senior executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, Ripple claims that the present court verdict does not support an appeal and points to the SEC's selective regulation of the cryptocurrency sector. This selective approach raises questions about how the SEC implements the How I Test, which determines whether a digital asset is a security or not. This discovery has far-reaching implications for the current court dispute. The SEC identifies no prejudice that it would suffer in being required to try the allegations that it brought and has maintained against Mr. Garlinghouse and Mr. Larson for nearly three years, according to a portion of the petition released by Attorney James A. Key. Fallon, and the SEC refuses to recognize much alone remedy, the significant damage that additional delay will inflict the individual defendants. The SEC's half-hearted stay motion lacks legal, factual, and equitable basis. According to attorney Fred Rispoli, Judge Torres is unlikely to grant the sex's motion. He claims that not only does the legal analysis back Ripple, but there is also serious worry about possible injury to people such as Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, rather than merely the firm. He compares this to the entitlement to a prompt trial in criminal matters. He goes on to say that the only way Judge Torres might certify the appeal is if she sees the matter as very political and wants not to get too engaged. In such a case, she may choose to refer it to the Second Circuit, enabling them to determine whether or not to grant the appeal, thereby putting the decision in their hands. According to Rispoli, Judge Torres does not support this technique. The sex is requesting an interlocutory appeal, claiming that the Ripple case poses fundamental legal issues with far-reaching repercussions for the entire digital asset market. Ripple has countered with many arguments. In the midst of the legal saga between Ripple and the SEC, John Deaton, a legal champion for XRP investors, provides a ray of light. He reveals the legal complexities that might lead to a settlement between Ripple and the SEC. Deaton's insight comes at a critical juncture, the legal battle between Coinbase and the SEC. If the court rejects Coinbase's request, the regulatory environment for token sales, including XRP, might change substantially. A rejection like this would erode the SEC's power to appeal pushing the agency toward a settlement with Ripple. Deaton believes that even if an appeal were viable, the agency's power would won, making a settlement more appealing. Ripple has also not been idle. In a recent filing, it argued that the sex had strayed from legal principles, particularly with regard to the Howey test for token sales. This development follows a positive July verdict for Ripple, which prompted numerous exchanges to consider relisting excerpt. A settlement between Ripple and the SEC might not only pave the way for extra, but it could also have an impact on the larger cryptocurrency industry set new precedents. If the move to dismiss is granted, the future for Ripple and Coinbase appears more bright. Such a decision would establish new precedents in the crypto industry, providing much-needed clarity and encouraging innovation.